Hey, good people. Thanks for joining me again today. I am at a home where there's a beautiful row of locusts that are growing here, but I wanted to show you something that I've talked about often, and that has to do with what the tree is grafted onto, what the rootstock is. It's a, it's a different tree. You can see these little suckers that are popping out down here below the graft, and what that will look like if left to grow, it is going to have these long thorns that are, well, quite frankly, um, not the kind of tree that anybody is going to want to climb. So whether it's a shade master honey locust, um, a sunburst honey locust, again, you want to keep the suckers from growing on these trees because they're simply going to produce a different tree. And sometimes you get kind of excited if a tree happens to die and then you see those suckers popping up and you think, oh, well, I'm gonna get another tree out of this. Should I let this tree grow? Sometimes you can. Sometimes you're gonna get a or an acceptable tree. But when we're looking at thorns, like you see on this tree, this is probably not a variety that's gonna be conducive to have in your landscape. So consider carefully before you let the new tree grow in, whether or not it's really something that you want. But back to my original point, don't allow the suckers and water sprouts grow below the graft because it's not the tree that you planted, it's not the tree that you wanted, and oftentimes it will grow more aggressively and dominate the intended variety that you planted. Well, another gardening tip today, crush the bell, give us a like, and uh, follow along. We'll see you in the garden.